Good bros, welcome back to. I keep. I'm. I'm getting used to the damn um Keem Clutch uh, intro. <laughs> but what's good? Welcome back to another vlog. As you can see from the title, we finally got a project car. Yay! It's, it's been forever. Me and sick you boys. <laughs> Sorry, we just came back from checking the mail, so we're about to walk and I'm gonna show you guys the car. So this wasn't really planned. It kind of came out of nowhere <laughs> with this car. It was my um, idea. It was Michelle. Yeah, Michelle found the car, which is crazy. And then we went through a lot of stuff trying to find a build. It's, I'll, I'll explain a little bit later. I just want to show you guys the car. So, boom. So we got a 2009 SI. Uh, 8 gen. This is a F something. FK8 or something. I, I don't even remember the damn chassis code. I already put the Akina uh, plate that we had on the, the, the cord. So this is Belly 2.0. So y'all yeah, remember Belly the cord? The 90 cord? That was Belly? This is Belly 2.0 pretty much. Literally just got back over here. Drove over here. Oh man, this car. There's a lot to say about it to be honest. It's for, To be honest though, we got it for a good price. Like like a good price so i mean of course look i still got the stickers and stuff on there but um for the price that we got it for it's it's, it's pretty rough I'm not even gonna, not even gonna hold you it is pretty rough it drives very well though this drive from the other side of town over here um it's an 09 so you know this body style was from 06 to uh, 2011 but from 2006 to 2008 they had like the old look and then from 2009 to 11 they had the refresh look so the updated lights the different wheels i like the wheels from the the six to the eight but it's whatever but um just to give you a little overview over it though like si the red part was gone um whoever had it had a nasty tit they put a nasty tit on there so you definitely gotta get that removed put some official tints on there um the body got some like stuff going around all over it like little dings and stuff like there's like a ding in the door right here and then um i believe it has like hail on it too so like you guys can see it see the little dimple so it's like three pieces let me see it's, it's a lot it's like four or five going on right there and there's some on the roof as well you can you can see it there but i mean for the price can't can't go wrong i almost bought uh one of these for my because i didn't get it from my job i got it from somewhere else but i almost bought one of these for my job and uh, it would have been probably about like two grand lesser than this, but it had way more miles. This has 150k. The one I almost bought was 220,000, so that's a big difference in mileage. And I think the other one was like a 07 or something like that. I don't know. All right, so I'm unlocking now. Interior is pretty dirty. Like this thing needs a clean. Like you need to get some floor mats. That needs to be clean. Door needs to be clean. Everything needs to be clean. But pretty much it's clean though. As far as like like engine transmission wise perfect because these well not really the 09s but from 06 to uh 08 have a like a transmission synchro problem where third gear will mess up and second gear whatever so yeah i was doing little pulls on my way over here on the highway and yeah transmission is strong engine is strong so that works it needs an alignment though so i'm definitely going to get that done that's the first thing i need to get done actually the first thing i need to do is clean this interior because this thing is dirty um, we're gonna take out some of the stuff from Michelle Civic and put in the trunk of this one, but um, yeah, man, we finally got a finally got a product. Right, we have Burger King, about to get some grub. They were Brandon's 1.5 Sport. Who be it? What's up, y'all? That's yeah, Brandon. I mean, if you guys watch the stream, if you guys watch the stream, you could y'all met Brandon before, pretty much. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Stream is first. Stream is first. What about a six king, six dollar king thing? That was good. Yeah, I need some help. All right, I'm. We're back from Burger King. This time we parked in front of Michelle because somebody want to take our spot. But um, this is how it looks at night. Pretty much, you got the, the, the double deck. It's just like uh, Michelle's 15 Civic as well. But what's really cool is you have your little SI tachometer there. And I don't know if this one, I haven't really uh, revved it out. So I don't know if this one have the shifter lights or not. It may, may not. I don't know. Need some gas though. Um, this guy definitely needs to be changed. You can see it's all messed up right here. But I was thinking about getting like a double din uh, little kit. And it has like a little 
a new up updated head system, head unit, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, and all that stuff. That's later on down the road, though. Pretty cool. But, um, yeah, it's, like, really, like, like minimal. Like, the steering wheel don't have much controls on it, which is really cool. You know, all of this is simple. The sound system sounds really good, though. Good, too. Um, I forgot how many speakers, but it, it bumps. All the SIs come with a moonroof. You probably can't even see nothing, but that's fine. It's so dark. Michelle's over there dying, pretty much. <laughs> so, um, next video, what we're going to do is clean this thing out. We need to, like... Uh, just clean everything. You see how dirty this car is, so we gotta just like do a full detail and stuff. That's what I'm gonna do next. All right, so we made it home. It's been a long day. I'm tired. Um, pretty much just want to summarize everything. Pretty much we went down, so it was pretty much like piece by piece by piece. So, um, me and Michelle saved some money for my build, and we started car shopping probably about two weeks ago. We've been actually I've been looking every day. I've been looking, and if you look at some of my past videos, I've been looking every day. But then once we had the money, I got a little bit more serious. So, um, all of the, I, I favorited and saved a bunch of cores. Because remember, originally, we were going to buy another CB7, a 90 or a 91. And I favored a bunch of those. And when it was time to, you know, f let's go look at one. They all were sold, pretty much. Then I found a nice, clean two-door EX manual. But it was all the way in Texas. It was about seven hours away. And the guy I really wanted to sell it to me is for a good price. But he's seven hours away at, you know, one wasn't trying to go down there and, you know, I don't know what's up, you know, like, it could, I don't know, it could have been smooth, it could have been, I don't know, it's seven hours. Drive back seven hours too, it wasn't with it. Then, um, Michelle found another one, it was in Colorado now, same thing. It's not seven hours, about five hours, but same thing, you know, and it was a four-door and it was like the, the newer, uh, uh, Accord as well, like the newer CB7, so, um, so that was a dub. I just feel like And dog. then, oh, Michelle's not feeling right right now. She's she's been sick the past few days, so they still can see you. I don't know what you're going for. <laughs> so um yeah, so then Sunday we found a a ninety one Prelude SI ninety one yeah it was a ninety one Prelude SI the thing was clean it had two hundred k miles on it and um it was for a good price as well too so we inquired about that the guy and then. It. And then soon as, I'm, I'm about to tell him too. So we inquired about it. Michelle's talking with the guy and everything. He had it for like, uh, I think like 2500 on Craigslist. Hit him up, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to send you more pictures of it, blah, blah, blah. So we scheduled to, to see it. And the guy lives nearby us as well on Craigslist. So we go back. So 30 minutes pass and we go back to the post. It's three grand. It like he raised the price up out of nowhere. And then we said nothing to us about it. So later that day, we wrote him again, no response, and then he left Michelle in red the next day. So we were like, you know what? I guess he don't want our money. And then he was sus raising the. You have a twenty five hundred, then gonna raise it up. And then I remember seeing his prelude. And it's been on Craigslist for a while, but he had it for more, and then he dropped it down to twenty five. And I guess everybody was probably flooding right at him. He raised it up. Probably. I don't know what he trying. I don't know what he was doing. And it wasn't with that. The energy didn't feel right. So we said, whatever, forget that. So now we're back to the drawing board. Don't have. A car, you know, don't have a project that we want to look at. So, like, whatever. So, um, on Tuesday, um, I'm at work and Michelle called me saying, Hey, you know, I found this SI. Bless you, mama. I found this SI. You're welcome. I found this SI. You know, it's clean. You know, it's for a good price. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, at first, I'm on the phone and I'm like, I don't know. Cause I thought she was talking about like a 98, 97 Civic SI. No, a Civic. So, I wasn't really, you know, for the price and you know how many miles and stuff I wasn't with it. So I looked at it and I look it's an it's an old nine inside. I was like, Hell yeah. So um Michelle talked to the guy and, you know, we went back and forth, back and forth and, and not really back and forth, but yeah, he gives some information. So as soon as I got off we went to go see it and then I liked it, you know, and in the pictures you can't tell in the pictures, but um it's outside of it was pretty rough. Like I was showing you guys earlier today. But for the price, it's like, you know, you get what you pay for. So um, we looked at it. We were interested in it. So we needed to, he said he's going to let us know um, the next day, which is to, well, he let us know yesterday, last night, that we're good. We're good to go. So we like, yesterday, we were excited. And today, I picked Michelle up from work. We went down, did all the paperwork, um, did the, put the insurance on it and everything. Signed paper, we're done pretty much. And then that was early early today. And we spent the whole day, pretty much, not the whole day, but majority of the day doing paperwork and stuff. 
And then boom, now we have an SI. So it needs it needs some love. It really do need some love. Um, but the thing is, I almost bought another one that was six. Uh, the thing is, I almost bought another one that I was explaining to you guys earlier for it was older and had like 50k more miles, you know, and it was like $2,000 cheaper. But, you know, for the value of this, you know, it, it, it works out. So, yeah, we got that and this is going to be our build for the for the summer pretty much. Well, not for the summer, for forever, for, for the channel now. This is what we're going to be working on and it's going to be long term. It's not going to be like belly. Belly just came at the wrong time. So this is Belly 2.0, so I'm excited. Um, I drove it from the other side of town here. Engine transmission is perfect. That's all I care about. Clutch, everything is perfect. That's all I really cared about. So I haven't been, I used to go to car meets all the time, like in real life, and I haven't been going because I didn't have the motivation, you know. I didn't want to bring Michelle Civic everywhere and stuff. So now um, I haven't touched my GoPro forever. I'm gonna charge that bad boy up. And we're gonna start um, pretty much going to meets, um, I'm going to um, record so us driving, give you my reviews and stuff over the next few days and stuff, things that we're doing. Of course, follow the build as well. Go to a lot of more events, which is going to be really cool. Um, and yeah, and we're going to go from there. So um, I'm going to push in this video here because I'm going to be battling all night if that's the case. I uh, just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Um, one more thing before we go is now I'm planning to have a real life video every Friday. So we're still gonna have the 5M and we're still gonna have the American truck and all my other videos, but the vlogs, I'm trying to bring it back, bring it back to the channel because this channel started from vlogs every Friday. If it's not every Friday, every other Friday or one Friday or, it's gonna be on the Friday when these videos come out. So um, today, this video come out today and it stays Wednesday. Um, you probably won't see another video till next Friday and I'll start from there. I mean, if there's like, you know, nothing I can do or I don't have any anything to do or whatever and i might miss some fridays but um because now we made this purchase we gotta grind save some money back up again you know so i get parts and stuff like that too and you know so i'm gonna be real busy at work and stuff trying to make some more money and stuff so that i can get this build started and you know we're gonna start start small and then let's see how far we can go with it you know who knows i'm gonna keep i want to keep it stock and stuff now but who knows maybe do something do a tune or whatever i who know i don't know but um now we officially ended though. Thank you guys for watching. Um, shout out to Brandon. You see, you know, we we washed our cars and got some eating stuff like that too. So I'm, I may do like a nice little uh, review on his car as well. And um, there's a few people, you know, we're gonna do some reviews on their cars on the channel. So um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and stay tuned for a lot of videos.